All right, I'm having a lot of bad dreams right now, and a lot of it's coming because I'm not sleeping. I want to focus on the fact that I'm not sleeping, and that's because as I lay here, I woke up at 2 a.m., I started feeling a shift in my chest that's just stopped preventing me from being able to relax. I start breathing heavy. Like there's, when I lay down too much, a shift happens around my heart. Something weird. It's like a twist. Uh, a, uh, something that's, that's internal that just loses its position. I think it's a weakness and and then from that point I'm breathing heavy so I'm trying to catch my breath so that's it's not a good thing it's a health problem from laying down too much this would normally happen when I uh, or this would normally result in my heart racing uh, before I when I stopped eating meat but then I started eating meat again the shift happens my heart doesn't race but I still have trouble breathing, so there's something there. If I had stood up and walked around a lot, then that I think would have settled things. Because I believe that, they, uh, like with Chinese medicine, they say the lungs prefer it when you stand. Okay, laying down is, uh, is a pressure that the lungs don't like to deal with. And I... Uh, and that that happens to me I get problems from laying down too much laying on my left side my right side on my back even a little bit too much laying down will just shift things so what results is as I'm trying to sleep I'm breathing heavy and and it feels funny around around the chest area and as I'm, and I'm still tired, so I try to sleep, and and I, I I'm not I'm not fully falling asleep because of this shift, and I'm getting lucid dreams as I struggle to sleep, and then kind of fall asleep, but I wake up with these lucid dreams of puppies burning and just terrible terrible things. They're they're more nightmares. Um, of of, uh, of people making mistakes uh, in different ways running through my dreams at different periods of time so it's it's no fun all right lucid dreams are no fun and it's I think it's a health problem that's that's bringing them out this time I don't believe it's the environmental toxins. It's just some sh weird shift. Maybe, maybe it's possible the toxins could be causing a weird shift. Like they're going to affect my lungs and then cause this shift that's making me breathe heavy. I haven't really sniffed outside. Uh, but it's like 5, it's 5.30 a.m. I've been up, I've been kind of lucid since 2 a.m. And it's no fun. So, I'm dealing with it. And, uh, I want to find, figure out how to prevent this from happening. I think just more exercise in the daytime, more positive exercise, can, uh, help make for a better restful sleep at night. And all I did yesterday was drive to uh, drive over a hundred miles sitting a lot of sitting around some walking talking to people at the, the courthouse but I was stressed out too so uh, it was a it was a very stressful day yesterday I even had a headache which still is carrying over a little bit into the into this morning that has this headache so there was stress and, and a lack of exercise, a lack of relaxation yesterday that might have 
uh, resulted in this in this weird shift. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if anybody else ex experiences it, but it, uh, before meat, it was happening and resulting with a racing heart. So I've I've uh, kind of overcome this this uh, it's not sleep apnea because I didn't wake up choking. It's it's not in my th my uh, my neck. It's down lower down here in sleep apnea you have that shift in your neck well my shift is happening in my chest and near my stomach like the apnea is resulting from hiatal hernia I got a, a hiatal apnea I bet that's that's possible I bet apnea sleep apnea happens the whole anywhere from the mouth down to the stomach, not just in the neck, right? I would think so.